Hello and welcome to Bedroom Studio Corner. I am XD. Now, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and please leave a like on this video. It helps me a lot to be able to make more content for you. Now, today I have a very exciting video. I'm going to show you how you can make SA Deep House chords 100% in FL Studio. You won't need any other external VSTs. I will show you how you can do this with FL Studio plugins, stock plugins, and I'm going to show you right after this. So what you want to do is you want to load GMS. There we go. And um, if I play it, you can hear it's um, on the program Aggressive TE. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go here on Beast. Um, you see here on Wave Shape, these are the three shapes that are going to be used in the sound that it is normally used there. So there's one, two, and three. So I'm going to go on beast and I'm going to load a sine wave. And I'm going to go on the third and I'm also going to load a sine wave. So if I play it back, it sounds like this. It's got some noise here that shh, it's this. So I can switch that off. And you hear that kind of uh, mic, um, the kind of mic feedback sound is on oscillator three. So what's happening here is that um, these three oscillators are playing more or less the same sound, but um, it's playing on different pitches. So what you want to do with this sound is that I'm going to turn the lower one into a saw. I'm going to raise these two. I can lower the octave over here without having to having to do that on my keyboard. Okay, right. Now I can go into my piano roll. I'll select minor ninth. Just drop a few chords here. You can uh, use any other chord you want, or you can design your own chords. I'm just using this minor ninth just for the sake of this example. Let me drop my like tempo, you know what, let me go very low, 110. As you can hear, it's actually kind of sounding good. And what I'll actually do to illustrate this point much more clearly is I'll add some sounds. I'll add like a kick to this, add four steps. I'll add a hat. Okay, now let's get back to our sound. I'll just mute these so we can design it a bit more. Now, if you see here on voices, there's two voices. You can also increase that. So that's actually changing the sound, but for now we're gonna keep it on two and you can also change the stereo, increase the stereo sound and decrease it to become mono. So this is a very powerful plugin and you can, um, keep the, um, the octave on zero. So if you come here by filter, you can lower the cutoff. If you see what that is, so it's basically an EQ over here. So don't get that confused when they say filter, it's actually an EQ It's filtering out um, frequency. So right now it's on low pass. So that's a useful thing if you want your sound to move like that and you can automate it over time as well now what you can do is you can go over here on envelope now this is the attack is when it's going to start playing now if you wanted to delay you can raise this and the decay is how long it's going to be playing so the 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 le if you lessen your decay uh the shorter amount it's gonna it's gonna actually play okay and the amount is the mix between the um, the sounds. I'll leave it over there. Now this is just 
uh, the the stock sound that it comes with. It's not like I, I loaded a preset or anything. I just opened it and voila. So it's sounding a bit more aggressive. But now to keep it on this aggressive type of sound is good so that you can cut off some of those high frequencies. Then you can have that smooth sound in. Over time you can be raising it like that. And that is dope. So now let's get back to the track. Now what you want to do next, an important part is to add reverb. Now you can click here, make sure glue is on and I can raise it up here. There's another attack over here, same as the attack and decay on here. Now, if you, as you see, as I raise this, it starts to play on a different time. You hear it hesitating. Let me lower the sustain. And we can add some echo to this. We've got an echo here, we'll put it over there. Bring it up. I'm gonna synchronize it with the beat. Forgot to put on glue. And you can change the time. Now parameter X, as you can see, is the feedback and parameter Y is the filter. So your echo actually has a filter on it. And remember the filter is just an EQ. So that's something to note. So you can design your sound as much as you want to. Now, let me just add a bit more keys here. Get that and raise that. We keep that there. So already it's sounding nice. Um, let me add a few more elements to the beat. I'll just add a clap. I'll add that. And this is the Extilzu Music SAD Power Sample Pack. If you don't have that, I'll put a link in the description so you can get it for you for free. Just change the start of offset. cut off that I had spoken about. Let me actually add another sound. Um, let me use Toxic Biohazard. It's got a sound here. Then I can make like a, I can make like a kind of a drone note that just sustains the whole time. I'm 
maybe just the one. Well, the same video of how to make it, but um, how to make a whole track or your whole sounds. But I'm just trying to illustrate how powerful um, knowing this uh, knowledge helps you in making your deep house. And over time, you can be automating your cutoff like that. And you can automate a lot of things. And the great thing about this tip is that using GMS allows you to automate any any control on GMS because it's an FL Studio stock plugin. So over time, I know, you know, Deep House is more atmospheric. So you can automate any control here, even if it's the attack, you want to automate it over time. You know, you can do that as well. You want to change the... Um, 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 the delay or you want to change the amount of delay you, you know the feedback and the filter over time you can do that so it's all up to you the possibilities are endless and just knowing this will help you design your sound and remember you can still go back on the shapes here and change them like i can change this one to keys and different sound Yeah, and you can actually automate this. I can say create automation clip, you know, so so your sound can move. So it'll move amongst the uh, wave shapes you have here and make a different sound. And um, you can also automate the voices. You can automate anything on here, even the stereo, even the detune. Um, and you can make sure that you have a great, great, great sound. And it's basically what I wanted to show you. It's a very important thing to know if you're going to be making deep how to know how to make these chords. Just so your track can come out sounding the proper way it must sound. So um, thanks for watching. I am XD. And remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Please click the like button and, it, and help out the channel so the channel can grow. And I can be able to make more content for you and help you like this. Because I want to be able to help you guys with exactly the things you want. So let me know in the comments how you design your deep house chords. So other people can also learn. And we can also exchange even if it's presets. We can also um, get to share that. Let's make a community of sharing so that we all can make great uh, music. I am XD and I am out. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.